hello. In today's video, decorate with me for Valentine's Day. Here we go. Hello you all, this is part two in my decorate with me for Valentine's Day. I posted part one as part of a hop around the house uh, last Friday. So you can go ahead and check that out. I'll link it in the description box as well as right here. Today we're gonna work on the rest of the living room. There's a wreath I wanna updo. We're gonna do that first, hang that up, work on some shelving in here. And then I'm also going to do my tiered tray, which is in the kitchen, coffee table decor. These are all like little projects because I'm not doing like huge decorating for Valentine's Day, but I like to put little touches in each room. So that's what we'll do in today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's head to the craft room to updo that wreath I was telling you about. Okay, I'm here in my craft room and I had the idea because I made, if you remember from one of my Christmas decorate with me's, I took a five below wreath and added vintage Santas to it. This one I have from Dollar Tree, but then I got these from a friend, my friend Clay Ramage, I believe is the one that gave these to me. They're these little angels. They're not cupids per se, but they are angels and I thought they were really cute. They have that vintage vibe. So I'm gonna attach them to this wreath with floral wire so it doesn't damage them at all. I'm pretty sure they're pretty old. They might be made of celluloid, so I definitely don't wanna damage them, but I thought they would be really cute on a wreath for Valentine's Day. So all I'm going to do is wire them to the wreath using my handy dandy floral wire like I did for the Santa wreath. And that one worked out well, but we'll go ahead and try see what this is going to look like. All right, let's see here. So this, this Dollar Tree wreath has like a frame, so I should be able to get through it pretty easily. I just have to make sure that I actually grab onto one of the back pieces, if that makes sense. See, I need to make sure I actually get it on. Well, I guess it doesn't. It can just go on the red wire. This is like wire, so it would probably stick to that too. I might have to do it more towards her middle and just deal with the lines. If I had a moment, I could have gotten different wire, but I don't. I'm just trying to use what I already have. There. I don't think that would be noticeable. I just have to wrap it kind of tight here. And then I can always take them off if I want to. There, cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wire these on and then show you the end product. Ooh, I love this one. I'm gonna stick this one in the center. Oh, that's a cute one. I like that star. I love this, this is really cute. This is a nice way to get to use these. I haven't gotten to use them yet. I think I kind of meant to do something with them for Christmas, but then as I was thinking through my Valentine decor, I was like, oh, this would be perfect. I really like these wreaths from Dollar Tree because they have such a vintage vibe, but they're only $1.25, which is really great. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think I'm going to hang this on the mirror in the family room, so you'll see it when I get to that point, but I really like my little flip cycle. I don't know which way is like upside down to you or not, but in case that's upside down there, you can see it from all the angles. <laughs> okay, let's get back to decorating. All right, I've put my little hook up there for hanging my wreath, but first I kind of want to wipe the mirror down. These are those glass plus wipes that I got at the Dollar Tree that you might have seen in one of my recent videos. We're going to see what we think here. I'm um, not feeling very confident that it's going to be a streak-free shine like they said looks pretty wet and streaky, but you know, I'll try any Dollar Tree product once. There's no way that's drying streak free. Dollar Tree. Okay, well, let's see. Let's give it a chance. All right, it is definitely not a streak free shine. I don't know, it's not really picking it up, but you can trust me. You can kind of see that it is not streak free. See in front of my face? Lots of streaks. <laughs> okay, so those Dollar Tree wipes, not a good product, not for glass cleaning. So I'm gonna get my actual glass cleaner with a paper towel and we'll re-clean the mirror and then I'll hang my wreath. Okay, I got the mirror actually streak free with my Windex and the paper towel, good old fashioned Windex. <laughs> and 
now I'm gonna hang my wreath. I love it. I think it's so cute. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Just takes a Dollar Tree item and makes it a little personalized. Cute. Okay, most of the shelf here is going to stay as it is. I took the Christmas beads down, which were there, and I'm going to put a little Valentine planter. That's probably the only thing I'm going to put on here for Valentine's Day. And I'm not sure if I want it there or there, but let's get it and we'll see. Okay, I put a few clippings from my Pothos plant, but this is the one that Clay Ramage found at the Goodwill Outlet bins a few years ago and so graciously gave to me. So I can put it here. My other thought was maybe I want to put it on top of these books. Oh, that's kind of cute. Kind of like that. I did just dust this, but I think I missed a spot. I missed a spot. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's cute. I like that there because you can kind of see them a little better. Maybe I'll just put this here. Oh, I have something I can raise this up with pretty box. Okay. And then maybe, um, yeah, maybe, maybe, nah, let's not do too much. Let's not do too much. Okay. I think that's good. Just some little touches. The suggestion of Valentine's Day. I like it. What I'm about to do, I've actually done before so it's going to seem precarious but you'll have to trust me that it works <laughs> and it does transition nicely to spring so that's really good It's time to go. Let me dust the cloche first and then take Santa out of here. I should have done this before I dusted. Oh. Okay. Santa is going bye bye. Wasn't sure if I'm going to leave. I think for now, yeah, I'm going to leave the tray. I might put some greenery around it. But, okay. I think I'm going to leave the tray. Let's see. So, what we're going to be doing is stacking these in the cloche. Again, I know it sounds precarious, but I've done it before. It was an inspiration for Instagram, although at this point I don't remember the account. Probably said it in an old video, but I love it. I'm going to alternate the handles. That's it. Just a pretty little little uh, decor touch with our pretty dishes. Ooh, I love it. I love it. All right. So what do we think? Do we, should I put it on the tray? My coasters go like this. Why is this one here? There's another glass one that's missing. Here we go. I love it, but I think it needs more. I think I am going to use the tray and I'm going to put the greenery around it and that'll be lovely. So hold on a second. There's the tray. I'll go out to the garage and get the greenery. Okay, this is the greenery I've used with it before. I could use evergreen, but I don't want that much evergreen in here because I do want to feel like we can transition, you know? Oh, I think that this will be good. Yeah. I'm gonna put the fuller, fuller part in the front. So just by wrapping it, it's more like a wreath. Oh, it looks pretty. Okay. I'll take the camera down so you can see it better. Okay, so there's the coffee table. I really love it. 
It's nothing new. I've done it before, but I'm glad I brought it back. I didn't do it last year, but I did do it the year before. And then here's the rest of what we did. Wow, that's really close. Okay, next I wanna do my tiered tray. So I'll show it to you in a second. Usually I will put it on my Lazy Susan so I can spin it and see all the sides. I can't locate my Lazy Susan. I know I moved it for Christmas time and I, I don't know what I did with it. So I probably put it out in the garage and it's really cold out so I don't wanna go look for it. But anyway, um, I gathered up some things. I know I definitely wanna use this, which I just thrifted, it's a creamer. And this is a sugar bowl. I just love them. I probably won't put sugar in them. I have something else that I keep on my tiered tray, which I'll show you in a moment. I actually don't have a lot of red things. With all the things that I have, I don't have a lot of red. I would love like a, um, some kind of vessel that would hold a candle that would be red, but I, I don't have anything, not even a mug. So anyway, there's. I feel like I'm a little pink heavy, but I did find my little strawberry. So as a nod to the coming season, Plus, I really love strawberries. I think I'll use this and that'll give a little red to break up the pink. I also found this mixer egg beater that has a red handle. Maybe I'll work that in somewhere. And then I am gonna set this on the side and I'm going to, I don't have them right now, but I'm going to fill this with Valentine hearts and I think that'll be really cute and that'll just set here. So that'll be a little red too. I need to clean it up. But let's go ahead and wipe down my tiered tray and move on to decorating it. So this is a very, like, we use this tiered tray. Right. I kicked the camera. All right, so what I was saying is this is a very useful tiered tray. Like, we use it frequently. We keep, like, our salt and pepper shaker on it, and our cinnamon sugar mix is on it. So I don't want to clutter up it up with too much decor, but I like to have a little bit of decor in the kitchen. You can see back there is my Christmas tree. That will stay there until I get tired of it, which will probably be when I decorate for Easter. Minnesota is very cold and dark in the winter and so I like the light of all the trees. See I have my little sugar shaker. I mean all these things get used every day so okay. This is the outside and so the, the more practical things need to go on this side so and I'll turn it. That's why I usually use the lazy season so I can turn it but let's work on the kitchen side first. So kitchen side, meaning this is the side that faces into the kitchen, definitely need these and this. They don't necessarily have to go there, but I just wanna remember that I need to put them on. I do like my candle. This is one of those Indiana candle company candles, and I use that. If I had a little red dish or something, that would be really cute, but I don't, so there you go. Let me think, let me think, guys. Okay, here's the side that will face the living room. I think what I wanna do is, I really just wanna see these all the time. I just love these. And what I'm thinking of doing, so in here, this is usually always on this tiered tray. I hide my little chocolates in here. I say hide because some of my children, not my hubby, my hubby doesn't prefer them, but some of my children will eat them. So I put them in places they don't know about. <laughs> Okay, not that I don't want to share, but I don't want to share them all. I'll be really honest. So, there. Now, that's there. That'll be cute. And then maybe these, the stackables. These are really cute. Stackable, love you, mo love you more, love you most. Those are cute. Okay, I like that. With a little bit of red. And so I really want the red. Um, well, maybe this can go on the other side. Let's carefully turn this to face the kitchen side. I just want a little bit of red on the tray. That's cute. And then I've got my little heart measuring cups, which I also use during this season. So, so those will be good. I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Nothing major, because again, this is a very useful space. Let's think. I should put maybe a little greenery in there. So this is an extra. This will go somewhere else. 
be a little greenery. Let me grab some. I have these around the house, these little squares of flower foam with the greenery attached. Oh yeah, oh, that's cute. I like that, very cute. Okay, so poor meat sweetness. This has chocolates in it. My little thing here, maybe, no, nah, I'm gonna tuck. Too much greenery is not good. Kinda nice. The kitchen side is boring, but you know, it's very utilitarian, so that's okay. Now what I can also do here is put a few little hearts. So I have these felt stickers, which I used for something else, but I can scatter a few of them and it'll just look cute. Oh yeah, that's cute. A little, just a little, little bit of fun here for the holiday. Oh, that's adorable. Whoops, you can't see what I'm doing there. Whoopsie. There we go. And kitchen side is, eh, eh, but you know, the kitchen side is always a little meh. And I really didn't want to buy anything. I just wanted to use what I had. I like it. Got all my useful things, plus these are fun and useful. And then this is my like more decor side with my treats that I can access. And then I will have this. I need to get my glass cleaner. Not the stuff from the Dollar Tree, but I need to clean the outside of this. And then fill it with some Valentine candies and that will be just adorable. All right. That's my tiered tray for the kitchen. I'll take the camera down and show it to you better. All right, here it is. It's cute. I like it. Using what I have. Plus a little fun. That is a new purchase, but it was $2.79 for the set, so I'll take it. <laughs> and then I'll walk around to the kitchen side. There's the kitchen side. Can't have decor up here because those get used every day. And I use my candle very, very often. I think it's cute. I like it. All right. I hope today's video gave you some ideas. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.